Good afternoon. It's Thursday. I'm at work on my lunch hour and I'm sitting here reading my Bible. I got this awesome Bible at work that my daughter gave me. It's called A True Identity. It's a, pretty much a woman's Bible, but it's I don't know who wrote it. Um, but I'm in Galatians 6, 7 through 10. And this is a little um, ditty thing on the side that sort of talks about 6 through 10. I'm going to read it to you. Plant corn seeds and you get corn. Plant kernels of wheat and you get wheat. Sow to please the Holy Spirit and you get blessings. It's true. You reap what you sow. How do you sow to pl how you sow to please the Spirit? Do good all good to all people, especially others. But this is what I like the best. Don't give up, even when you've been serving in the same way for years. Even if no one notices, even if some take advantage of you, even if you receive more criticism than praise, even if it doesn't seem to make a difference, even the harvest will come. So keep planting. Isn't that good? You know, um, we can get criticism all day long. It's, it's, it's hard to get away from that, you know. If we're out and about with people, which is I, what I am, and, you know, I don't know, just seems to come from different ways but um but it says i'm looking in the scriptures and it says galatians 6 uh, 3 if you think you are something when you're nothing you deceive yourselves <laughs> sometimes i get criticism and i have to not take offense and maybe stop and think about you know why is that criticism coming is it true maybe is something to that i need to change each of you should test your own actions then you can take pride in yourself without comparing yourself to someone else. For each of you should carry your own load. Nevertheless, those who receive instruction in the word should share all good things with their instructor. So, um, yeah, we have to take stock in things that we do. And the Holy Spirit a lot of times will put people in our lives or, you know, will hear things or whatever that will convict us or just make us think to, you know, like a G, little re, little rerouting, you know. <laughs> turn here, don't go turn here, you know. And so um, I have to think of those things. But another thing I was thinking of lately was um, about people. Uh, I don't know why I was thinking of this. Or maybe I shouldn't talk about it. But it was, if you ever watch Gone with the Wind and, you know, Scarlett was so bitter with uh, Rhett and she teased him so much but she was always in love with this other guy Ashley and he knew that but anyway one day they you know they were drinking or she was drinking and he took her upstairs and there they were they spent the night and she woke up the next morning and she was all in love and everything and I guess she was thinking that everything was going to be all fine well he walks in and he asked for a divorce and the look on her face it just went from sweet and happy and in love to you know and I kind of felt sorry for her, you know, but then you got to think about, you know, the relationship and how it's been the whole time. And so I think about things that like people that are, you know, you always hear that I got convicted for and I wasn't guilty, you know, and then yet they're in prison. But I think sometimes they were guilty of other things and got away with it. <laughs> it's called comeuppance, you know, it's called reap and sow. And so I wonder, and this is, God help me if I say this wrong, but I have for some reason I've thought about this before. All the times Paul spent in prison uh, for the cause of Christ, you know, but I wonder if he ever spent time in prison for all the Christians that he killed, you know. And I believe in forgiveness and I believe the Lord forgave him and all that, you know, but um, I just wonder if he was, when he was sitting in prison for the cause of Christ, did he ever think about those people that he killed and how he got away with it? Uh, you know, I don't know. That's not for me. I'm not judging him. I, I say things like that because I have to think about myself and, you know, what I've done and how my life is. And, you know, we, we learn things by, by experience and cause and effect, and that's how we learn. But um, <clears throat> I've had people, and I just recently had this happen to me, where somebody called me up and I thought, you know, oh, hey, how you doing and all this stuff. Well, the person that called me up intended to say bad things to me. <laughs> Took me by surprise. 
but we've we've had a jaded uh in the in the past you know our our relationship's been up and down you know for over the years and so i thought about scarlet you know and how they they've had a bad relationship over the years and they had one good day <laughs> one good night and she thought it would be okay i don't know you know it's just you have to think about some of these things and so then um so then i like i said i happen to get to galatians 6 and it says um each of you should test your own actions and we should all do that you know but i'm gonna so it says do, uh, do not be deceived god cannot be mocked people reap what they sow those who sow to please their sinful nature from the from that nature will reap destruction. Those who sow to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at that proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Life is tough. You know, things come at us. And a lot of times it's um, we can be accused falsely. We can be criticized falsely and whatever, you know, and sometimes it's for our good so that we can it's the Holy Spirit trying to, you know, reroute our little GPS system, you know. But don't give up. That's what it says. I'm going to finish this. Even if it doesn't seem to make a difference, remember the harvest will come. So keep planting. Keep seeking. Keep getting out there, you know, and spreading the word of God. Keep, you know, doing your best to um, be an example of Christ, you know. We just do our best we can, you know. But you know that I love you guys, but Jesus loves you so much more. And he's here for you. He's left his Holy Spirit for you. And he's inside of you. And like I said in yesterday's video, uh, what's in your wallet? It's in your father's wallet. All the gifts. He's given you everything he could have, that you could possibly need in this world, you know. Because he loves you. So I'll see you later. Bye.